Hi. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking for a minute. I'm gonna make a tiny little video about. I'm wanting to start up my YouTube again. I only made like maybe a handful of videos, ten videos or so, and I gained a subscriber though. That was nice. But I don't. Um. I didn't post much. I haven't posted much in probably two years, maybe. Uh. Excuse me, because when I was pregnant, I posted and I developed pretty bad HG, which I don't remember the whole name. It's when you throw up a lot while you're pregnant and you're sick all the time. So I kind of didn't do as much. And then I just, you know, new baby and not feeling too well physically, luckily not mentally this time, because that was my struggle the second time. But I um got on some medication that helped me with that antidepressant that helped. And... I feel like I'm doing a little bit, I feel like I'm doing better on that end, but physically I'm not feeling very well, but I want to do more on YouTube because I enjoy the makeup community and I like the people I talk to and I want to be involved in that community myself and make videos myself and I'm hoping it'll um, all go pretty well because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't plan on editing anything or doing anything special. I'm just going to sit here and talk about makeup and do crap. And everyone can look at how horrible my eyebrows look. Oh, I thought they were pretty banging when I got them done, but I don't know. And I, I like doing my eyebrows a lot, but I feel like I don't always do them right. I've been using, um, so far, I've used a several eyebrow pencils I like, but other than the shop, can't talk, Charlotte. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Other than the Charlotte Tilbury one, I prefer the, the Kosas one. It's the little pink one, the brow pop, and mine's in black. Let's see. Uh, dual action defining pencil. Yeah, I really like that one. And I also like the gel that comes with it. Or not comes with it, but it's supposed to be the gel counterpart to it, I guess. The air brow, brow gel. I got the black one as well, and it's pretty nice. I like it a lot. I had the Auburn one for a while, but considering it does not match my hair at all, I quit using it. Because I, I had slightly lighter hair back when I used to dye it more. I would, like, lighten it, but now it's pretty much... I mean, it's dark brown. You can see it's dark brown in person, but it's nearly black. So I just went back to using black brow pencils, and anytime I shave my brows, I draw them on with black. Which is rare that I shave them. The only time I do that is if I'm trying to look like Jane Harlow, which is obvious. I look nothing like her. So, it doesn't really, I don't look like her. I end up looking like this. What? Surprised constantly. And that's fine. I don't mind it. But she looks so much better with tiny eyebrows. She, she's perfect. How can, she was just, Yeah. You can't, no one can look like Jean Harlow. It's just not possible. Marilyn Monroe came incredibly close to it, so she can, but you know what I mean. She can do it. But she's perfect, too. <laughs> no, for real, though, I would really like to make, you know, a YouTube channel again. I, I'm not going to say I tried the first time because I really didn't. I posted a few videos and then quit because, I said, like I said, HG got a little too much. I couldn't just sit down and record. I'd have to go throw up in the middle of recording. And it's like, well, this sucks. And then come back out of breath, sweaty, and in tears because I just threw up. And it's like, no one, no, I don't want to do that. We're going to wait until I'm better. And then, you know, after Julia, my sweet little baby came along I did the home birth like I said I was going to in my videos that was painful of course but it was great I do it all over again the screaming and crying and cussing and all um but after that I just I got caught up with you know my baby and my two older kids and my life and being depressed <laughs> and I would like to actually try to make more content again and actually try this time instead of just dicking around but i don't care i don't not doing it i'm not hoping i get it'd be cool to get you know money from it in pr and i was huh. I, i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say i don't want pr because that'd be a lie i want a bunch of free crap of course i do but i'm not doing it for that i just want to interact with people and be part of the community because i really love some creators in the community like Teresa's dead ali dawson i mean i love those people I mean, Jen Love, I love a lot. 
of the creators and interact with them. So I'd like to make my own videos again and be part of the community as well. And I hope, you know, I get somewhere with it. If not, then whatever. I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking to get the PR and the money. Be nice, but I just want to, I just want to be part of the community. And if I do, great. Oh, I can't quit looking at my wrinkly forehead. I was telling my mom this the other day. I think some people, like, their face might be set a certain way. Like, some people have their face here, some here. I don't know. Like, I feel like my face, <laughs> I feel like my face is too low because <laughs> my forehead. I don't know, that's just me. I just think my face was low, was set down a little too low. Not that it, I really care. It's just kind of funny because I have a big forehead. But then if my face was up any higher, I'd have a big chin. So maybe I just got a big forehead. I don't care. It didn't really bother me anyways. But look. Uh, look. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just here to be weird and make content and get laughed at. I'm sure I'll get laughed at. I'm into that. I'm sorry, these nose rings tickle real bad. Anyways, yeah. So, I'm gonna... I guess make a makeup video soon, talking about crap. I got a bunch of um, Glam Light stuff recently from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and then ordered from their site as well for the first time, and I had good experience with that. So, I'd like to talk about that. I felt special. They sent me a few free things in my package, so I almost felt like I got PR. It was nice. <laughs> But I appreciate that experience. They've been cool. So I want to talk about those products I got because they're pretty nice. If you're going to spend your money, spend it on Glam Light. They have really nice stuff and they're not expensive. And if you can get their stuff at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, grab it. Just grab it. Even if it's been touched, just get it. No, pretty much everything I get at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I check, but most of it's been touched. And. I don't recommend that. I'm not going to say do it, but I do it. Buy it at your own risk. But like I said, Glam Light's incredible. So if you do see it, um, get it. Also, wait. If you do see their Hershey Kiss ones, though, since they're in a sealed package, they can't be swatched. So if you see those, grab them. Absolutely get them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they can't be opened up and swatched. If you see one that's been opened that has the package ripped open, it's it's been swatched. But that's rare. Usually I've seen them, the Hershey Kiss ones, in the sealed package so it's pretty nice okay so i guess i'm done running my mouth for now and i'm sure y'all can hear the noises in the background from the movie menu that's been sitting on the menu for like an hour because i just don't pay attention uh, now I guess either I'm going to finish watching my Allie Dawson video I'm watching or I'm going to make my own video or listen to music and sit here and do nothing. I don't know, but we'll see. I've got laundry and other crap to do, so we'll see. If not, I'll try in the next couple of days to post something. But like I said, I'm not. I'm just starting for real. So hopefully I'll get somewhere. If not, then oh well. I'm just bored. And my kids are napping right now. So, yeah. Bye.